thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart, changed my state of mind, but love so hard to find. If you're like most people or most students, you don't really know what Associated Students does here on campus. What What would you say you do here? Uh, other than take some fat fees every quarter, the only time you really notice them is when they show up in the spring quarter in the arbor to ask for your votes. And if you really don't understand what AS does, who could blame you? Because here is the organizational chart of our student government, and it's so freaking big, it doesn't even fit onto my screen. Gee, I wonder why we pay five times more than the UC average for AS fees. Now, of course there's good programs that are run under AS, such as CLAS is funded by them, we have things like the food bank, other programs that help students. But here's the problem. If you're gonna operate a $12 million budget that comes from student fees, then you better act like someone that's fit to manage $12 million that is coming from student fees. Because we pay more in student fees for AS than any other UC campus by a large margin, and we pay more than any other campus into the UCSA, which is like a union of all student associations in the UC. We also pay into USSA, which is the United States Student Association, which would be cool except they don't even exist. The last time anything came out from them was in 2018. Oh no, why does no one care about AS? I don't know, man, but I can think of at least 631.83 reasons. I actually looked at the website of every single UC school to see the fee breakdown, and we pay the most for AS of any UC. Keep in mind, we're still paying for campus-based fees and student service fees, but in addition to that, we still have the highest AS fees alone. That's not counting lock-in, that's not counting campus-based, just AS. It's already 630. A year. Okay, sure, so we pay over 12 million dollars every year into AS, and okay, each person is paying 33% more now than 10 years ago, even though there's way more people now. There are a lot of committees and subcommittees and departments run by AS, and it's okay to pay that much as long as we have good people running them. Surely, we have to be getting some top dollar elected officials, right? According to Marcinkowski, the public sphere revolves around the idea that everyone can participate in and be informed of important decisions. Well, it would be a whole lot easier to be informed if they would actually update the website with what bills and resolutions they're discussing. Coming soon to own on DVD. I mean, their entire job is to manage the expenditures and legislation on campus, but okay. Gotta cut them some slack though, they were busy. Uh, here's some of the things they were busy doing. Calling for special elections that no one cares about and that no one actually votes in. Getting disqualified, voting each other off the island, getting disqualified again, making bills about the rules they just broke, and then having multiple executives kicked out of the party. And that's not a pun, I mean they got kicked out of their political parties. Leaving meetings instead of actually doing their job, and then when they actually go to the meetings they ignore the agenda. Sometimes they even get drunk at their own senate meetings. Did I mention we pay these people nine grand a year? Even the Daily Nexus, which is funded by AS, is calling for more transparency. And it's no joke either, because AS Senate has actually broken state law before. I mean, I guess you can't get called corrupt if you just never vote. But the real tea starts with this freaking guy, Hugh Le and the Yu Sen. Oh my goodness, if you've never heard of this, have I got a treat for you. So Hugh's running this debate against the guy that loses the presidential race in 2017. Anyway, they make some great campaign promises. That's our boy right there. So he was going off about eliminating tuition and like opening student businesses or whatever. He even says that a leader must be able to listen to their constituents. Liar! I wonder if he know that I know he's lying right now. Hugh proposes a project called the New Sen, which would renovate the University Center. But here's the catch, it would cost $200 million over the course of the project. By adding crap like an innovation center and a demonstration kitchen, as well as a freaking pub and of course, new offices for AS. 
Instead of adding all this other stuff, according to the administration itself, it would have only cost $5 million to renovate the Yusen. In order to gain support for this project, he was literally caught getting signatures from drunk people at parties and lying about expanding the food bank. Our AS president was taking advantage of drunk people. So after getting clowned on for weeks straight about this ridiculous proposal, it finally failed with an 80% no vote. But you sound excited, and you know that I know that you lying over. Why am I here? Because I am sick and tired of AS. The point of the Yusen story is that every year these candidates will promise us the utopia, free puppies, and the cure for cancer. And we get none of those. Our 2018-19 student advocate general ran on a platform of a campus-wide campaign of workshop, collaborating with different organizations, collaborating with DSP, and working with food and housing security to create a coalition. Ultimately, they achieved practically none of that. Okay. Although, to be completely fair, she did say the last guy was a complete idiot, so most of her time was spent just fixing the office in general. Next, we have our external vice president for that year, who says themselves that they were not able to complete their main two platforms. Okay. Next we have the internal vice president who was noted for being unable to keep the room in order, also noted for acting unprofessionally during his term, and lastly noted for not being able to complete their main two points. Okay. Then you have that year's president who says that they only were able to work towards a little more than half of their projects and completed none of them. The best part is it apparently took her 10 months to create one of her main platform points, which was to create a new AS position. Did we really need another position? And then apparently we just had a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing. That's not even a joke, that's a direct quote. Uh, clearly we all really don't know what we're doing. But that was 2018-19 exact, so let's see if this year's did better. Starting with the internal vice president, alright, it, it says they actually did a very good job compared to last time. That's better, thank you. I mean, other than the whole getting drunk at a meeting thing, but... I mean, we go to UCSB, I guess. Next, we have our student advocate general whose goals were to elevate the visibility of their office and move the office location. When we look at the term in review, it looks like, um... Yeah, I didn't, didn't do either of those. Next, we have the external vice president of local affairs whose goals were to tackle mold, hold open markets, and continue working with the police board. He kind of worked on the mold, continued to work with the police, and actually put on a really successful open market. So if anything, we need more guys like him. Then we have our external vice president for statewide affairs who came into an office that was empty. So he actually had no one to help him figure out what to do. And he actually managed to do a really good job. Uh, made some lobbying trips, put on some conferences, talk to the chancellor. Cool. Lastly, we had our president whose goals were to create an app for AS, find a permanent place for the bike shop, install meal vending machines for students, and create a plan. Part of her plan was to make a plan. Well, there's no app to be found. I mean, who even asked for that? It says she finished the last president's plan of finding a place for the bike shop. Maybe in 10 years, they'll actually move it. She did start to make this strategic vision 2020 plan, but I mean, the hilarious part is this idea was first started five years years ago by the AS president, and now they're gonna have the next AS president finish making the plan. <laughs> Nine grand a year, by the way. But you're for what, standing there? And let's go over this vending machine idea. Apparently they're gonna have a food vending machine. It's gonna cost about $14,000, and that's before you actually put food in it. Jeez, if only there were some kind of basic needs infrastructure already in place where we could help people find food. Something that already has the funding and the staff to run. Something that we can expand with our $14,000. Now we're gonna buy one vending machine instead. This last one's just a personal note, but the president had this big thing about standing for the Asian American community. Um, yeah, I'm involved with multiple Asian American organizations, both political and cultural, and not only has no one ever heard of you, we really don't know what you've done on our behalf, so don't flaunt your identity as some kind of token unless you're actually going to back it up.
end, we should all want our AS representatives to be better than they have been, especially with such a massive budget. But ultimately, you have to remember that they are just people, and it is just a popularity contest with 12 million dollars. At the same time, we can squarely blame AS for not being transparent or engaging with the public. Why? Because they only interact with the public once a year and that's to beg for our vote. How many times has an AS representative actually asked you what would help you succeed as a student and then how many times did they actually go and do it? On the other hand, how many times did some random stranger approach you in the arbor to beg you to vote for them and their friends? In the end, the Senate needs to be more engaging, more transparent, and more efficient. Only then can they turn the public perception in their favor instead of against them. Until then, I want my $600 back.